hello guys welcome back so now in this video let's connect our users app project to the firebase so open up your favorite browser and simply search for firebase console and you will see this firebase console google okay you can also come here to this page directly by simply typing this console.firebase.google.com then you will see this add project icon okay this button just click on this add project button and here we have to give uh, our project name so let's just give it name as amazon clone okay amazon clone and then click on continue now this is our firebase project okay yes enable google analytics for this project select the default account for firebase and click on create project so it is now creating our firebase project so your new project is ready click on continue now first of all here you will see this authentication okay if you click here authentication basically used for authenticating the users it can be the sellers the users the admins okay so here basically we store the email and password and as a result basically when we authenticate the user it can be any user okay as i told you the seller the admin the user common user who will use the app so when we authenticate any of the user basically it gives us back a uh, user id which is called uid with the help of which we can recognize each and every user each and every seller each and every admin you can say okay so just click on this authentication let's click on get started because we have to enable the authentication and we will use the email and password so make sure to click on enable for the email and password okay and then click save so you can see email and password it is now enabled and here when we authenticate start authenticating the users the sellers or you can say the admins then they will their email will appear here alongside with the user id so as we have enabled the authentication also we have to add our dependency for that in our project so simply go to pubdev which is this site pub.dev okay just go to the pub.dev site and search for firebase auth this first one okay firebase underscore auth with null safety so just click here on firebase auth click on installing and then copy this dependency firebase auth go to the project android studio and then here we have foxpec.yml and in here after the cupertino icons we will simply paste that so then after it we will also use the firestore database for saving the uh, items the information basically related to the users and to the sellers and of course the admin okay all the information we will store inside our firestore database so just click on firestore database let's create that also and now here you can simply click on this cloud firestore create database button and we will click on this start in production mode okay and then click next and then click on enable so it has been created successfully now you have to simply click on this rules and inside the rules set this instead of this false we can simply write true okay allow read write true that is we can read and write to the firestore database once you write true then click on publish and yeah that's it okay now uh, come back here to the pub.dev site and we have to add the dependency for firestore database simply search for 
file store okay cloud file store it is by the name cloud underscore file store with null safety so just click on it click on installing and copy this dependency cloud file store and then in here in our postpack yaml we can simply paste that then the next thing that we will do is we have to also enable the storage now storage is the place basically where we will save our files and now click here on rules okay inside the storage click on rules and here we can simply allow, allow read write if true make sure to change this to true and then click on publish so yeah our storage is also created successfully and the dependency for it we can simply come here to the pub.dev and simply search for firebase storage this one okay firebase underscore storage with null safety click on installing and then just copy this firebase storage dependency and we can add that in our project just like this and now the next thing is basically the push notifications okay so using a uh, firebase we can do that using the firebase cloud messaging if you scroll here then you will see here this inside the engage we have this messaging okay the cloud messaging just click on this messaging so we will also use the cloud or you can say the firebase messaging for the push notifications real-time push notification system which we will implement in our this course for in the users app in the sellers app so yeah just come here to the pub.dev and simply search for the dependency which is called firebase messaging firebase underscore messaging and then click on installing and just copy this dependency and then come back to the android studio and simply pass that dependency here so we have successfully enabled the firebase auth firebase firestore okay that is the firestore database the firebase storage and the firebase messaging now one last thing which we have to add is basically the firebase core dependency which is required for using firebase so we can search for firebase core this first one okay and then click on installing and then simply copy this firebase core dependency and we have to add it after the cupertino icons above okay here above the other dependencies which is related to firebase so once you add that then you can simply make sure that you do not give any extra space forward or backward otherwise you will get error okay once you add this you must follow this proper indentation or you can say proper alignment as you can see all these are in proper line so anyways now uh, once you add all these dependencies then simply click on pub get and z code 0 which simply means these dependencies has been added successfully in our this users app project now the next thing is basically we have to now add our google services.json file in our project so come here to the firebase okay now for the next time if you want to see your project then you have to simply go to the console.firebase.google.com okay and it will basically direct you to this page and here is the project which is amazon clone which we have just created okay now if you click on that then here you will see this uh, gear icon okay just click on this gear icon and click on project settings and in here uh, you will see this support email make sure to click here and select your email okay and then currently we have not there are no apps in your project so let's just connect so click on android icon okay let's connect it for the android first here we have to provide our application id so go to the project android studio and here inside the android app and then build.gradle inside the app we have build.gradle and then here 
the application ID which is this one so you can change this okay instead of example you can write your name for example my name is Muhammad Ali and then the app name is users app okay and then simply copy it copy this application ID and then simply paste that here and the app nickname is basically users app and then click on register app then click on download google services dot json file let's download this so it is downloaded successfully let's go to the downloads folder so this is our google services dot json file now we have to add that I mean add this file inside the app folder so all you need is just drag and drop this above the app folder okay just like this and then click on refractor so inside the app folder we have now our google services dot json file okay inside the app folder just like this so then go to the firebase console and just click on next and here we have to add this to our project build.gradle okay this line which is com google this one okay google services so just copy this line and come back here to the project and in here we have android build.gradle okay this is project level build.gradle okay so just go to the build.gradle and in here inside the dependencies above this okay line we can simply paste that the next thing is we have to inside the project air module build.gradle we have to add this line which is com google gms google services apply plugin okay this one so just copy this line and then come back to the project and inside the app level app level build.gradle at the bottom we can simply pass that apply plugin okay just like this and yeah that's it okay we have successfully connected our users app to our firebase okay now click next and then click on continue to console and now if you scroll here then here you can see our user app is connected okay it has been created successfully next thing that we will do is basically to check that is either it is connected successfully or not so for that purpose on the main dot, dot inside the void man method here okay what we can do inside this function first of all we have to make this is future void man asynchronous this become a synchronous function and then we have to say that widget flutter binding dot ensure initialized and then we can simply initialize our firebase so we can say wet firebase dot initialize it is not showing us the suggestion so what I'm going to do is I'm going to load the package which is firebase core this one firebase core slash firebase core dot dot and now if we type and we can simply get firebase dot initialize app okay so it basically initialize the firebase in our users app project and in order to use as you know we are using firebase in our project as a backend so whenever we use firebase as a backend we must set the minimum SDK version 219 so for that purpose come here to the Android app build.gradle and here we have this minimum SDK version okay so just change this to 19 okay just change this to 19 and then after it inside the default config we can also set the multi capital D E X okay multi dex enabled and we will set this to true make sure to write the correct same spellings okay D is capital in it and also E is capital the other alphabets are 
small everything is set up correctly now let's just test the app if it is working or not so our project is running successful oh, so our app is running successfully and it shows no error so it, sim it simply means that we have successfully connected our users app to the firebase